Hey everyone, welcome back to Learn with Maktum. In the last video, we have started with computer graphics. We have discussed about what is computer graphics and what are the applications of computer graphics. In this video, we are going to discuss about display devices. Okay, so there are many display devices available, but in this video, we are going to discuss about CRT that stands for cathode ray tube. Okay, before starting that, let us discuss some points here. In computer graphics, objects are presented as a collection of discrete elements called pixels, smallest screen element of an image. So, when I say an image, the smallest screen element of that image is called pixel. Remember that. User can edit graphic objects with the help of keyboard, mouse, touch sensitive panels on the screen. So we can say graphic devices are combination of input devices and display devices. Okay, so let us see one by one video display devices. There are different devices available. Cathode ray tube, raster scan display, random scan display, direct view storage tube, plasma panel display, flat panel display. So one by one we will be discussing in individual videos. So Today we are going to discuss about cathode ray tube. So cathode ray tube consists of a vacuum tube. And here you can see this is a screen. This is a screen that is phosphorus coated screen. And it also has connection pins and base. Connection pin, here we are going to supply the power. Okay. And this is called a base. And after base, we have something called as electron gun. So it, this electron gun emits the electrons. Okay, that is the electron beam will be emitted. So this electron, this move, uh, these electrons are going towards the screen with the help of something called as focusing system and deflection system there are two deflection system one is horizontal deflection system and another in vertical deflection system play with this so how actually the cathode ray tube works is so we are going to give power supply here to the connection pins when we provide power supply here this electron gun it means what inside this there will be a coil okay that is we are going to say it as a filament okay inside this electron gun we have a filament so when we supply power to it it will start to heat up once it start to heat it will release electrons okay those electrons those electrons will be moving here and there but we want them to move towards the screen so to help in that case we are using this focusing system and deflection system which guides the electron beam to go towards the screen okay i hope i'm clear with that and when this electron beam hits the screen it is going to produce a small spot of light and this spot of light fades rapidly okay so if you want that light to be produced continuously then you have to continuously provide this electron beam continuously you have to provide and this process is called the refreshing and this type of crt where we want the light produced to be continuously this type of crt is called as refresh crt okay yes let us see the points. I hope I'm clear with the CRT how it works. Let's see by with the help of point. And one more thing is that it is a device which converts electrical signal. Means what here? Electrical signal means the movement of electrons here. So with the help of them, we are converting that to visual signals. That is, spot of light is produced. Yeah. So let us see. A cathode ray tube is a vacuum tube in which images are produced when an electron beam strikes a phosphor coated surface. An electron gun generates a beam of electrons which passes through focusing and deflection system. 
focusing and deflection system direct the electrons beam towards specified position on the screen. The phosphorus then emit a small spot of light at each position contacted by the electron beam. The light emitted by phosphorus fades rapidly. The operations of CRT is very simple. First what happens? The electron gun will emit a beam of electrons. Then the electron beam passes through the focusing and deflection systems. When this beam hits the screen, the phosphor emits a small spot of light at each position contacted by the electron beam. And that small spot of light fades rapidly. So this is about the working. Next see the last concept of CRT that is factors affecting on CRT. So these four factors you have to remember resolution, persistence, addressability, aspect ratio. What is resolution? Resolution is number of pixels per inch that can be drawn horizontally and vertically. It is nothing but clarity and sharpness of the picture. So the clarity and sharpness of the picture can be referred as the resolution. And the high quality resolution is 1280 cross 1024. Okay, that's the horizontal and vertical pixels. Clear with that? Persistence is the time taken to emit light from the screen to decay to 1 by 10th of its original intensity. Addressability is a measure of the spacing between the centers of vertical and horizontal lines. Aspect ratio refers to the ratio between the vertical and horizontal points necessary to produce the equal lines in both direction on the screen. And these are the four factors which affect the CRT, resolution, persistence, addressability and aspect ratio. You have to remember these definitions. These can be asked for your exam for two mark each. Okay, clear with that. This is about CRT. In the next video, we are going to see the remaining display devices. I'm going, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click on subscribe button. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.